Now let's take a look at how you can delete the record from the MongoDB database. So if you're back to the controller, then you can notice here to update the data, we need to get the user ID as well as the form data. But when deleting the user, you don't need the form data or you can say the postal data. Instead, you just need the user ID. So let me just copy this command and write down here, let me create the delete user. So I'm going to put this command here and say this is the delete request. And the URL is going to be the same right down here. We need to say export async function. Then I'm going to name the function delete user. And then we need to pass request and response parameter. Inside this function, we need to call try and catch like this. And inside this catch here, I'm going to say response.status 404.json. And inside this JSON, I'm going to return error. If there is an error inside this delete request, then I'm going to say here error while deleting the user. And just out of that, in the try block here, I'm going to say constant in the object, we pass user ID is equal to, I'm going to get this user ID from request.query. When you make a delete request to this URL, you need to pass a user ID with this URL. Just out of that, write down here. I'm going to say if we have a user ID, then execute this if block. And inside this if block, I'm going to say constant user is equal to await and then say here users dot find by ID and delete. So using this method, we are going to first find the record using ID and delete it. So as a first argument, we specify the user ID like this. That's it. This function is going to take only one argument, user ID. And this statement is going to delete the data from the MongoDB. If we successfully delete the record, then we are going to return a response. So we say here response.status 200. And then I'm going to pass here dot JSON. And inside an object, I'm going to say deleted user ID. This one. I'm going to pass this variable to this object. If I delete the record, I don't want to return the complete data of the user as a response. Instead, I'm just going to return the user ID. So I decided to add here a property called deleted and then specify this user ID here. Just out of that, if something went wrong and if we don't have user ID, then we need to say here response.status, which is going to be 404 and then specify here JSON response. So inside the error, I'm going to say user not selected. Let me save this file back to the postman api testing tool if you make a get request you will get all your objects so i'm going to copy this second object and make a delete request so i'm going to click here and make a delete request so i'm going to select delete then specify my uri right here get rid of this id and inside this params here we need to pass user id and the value is going to be id of the object then when I click on the send button, I'm going to get this response method deleted. This is because inside this index.js right here, you can see we just response this delete request. So we successfully make a delete request. So let me just get rid of this response and pass here delete controller. So here I'm going to pass delete user. Copy this function, get rid of this response. And to this function, we pass request and response parameter. Let me save these changes back to the postman API testing tool. And now when I click on the send button, you can see I'm going to get a response deleted with the ID. Now when I back to the get users and make a get request, I'm just going to have only one record. Now what if I print this users, get rid of this object and just print this user. Let me save the changes and now let me delete this record as well. I'm going to copy this ID, open the delete request and specify that ID here, something like this. And now when I click on this send button and make a delete request, you can see I'm going to get the complete data as a response from the delete request. And when I make a get request again, you will not get anything. This is because I deleted all the records from the database. If I want to make a post request again, I'm going to back to the post request by selecting the HTTP post and click on the send button. When I click on the send button, it's going to create a new record inside a MongoDB database. When I back to the get user, click on send. Here you can see I'm going to have one record inside my database. Now let me just copy this data, this fourth data and make a post request again. So let me get it off and change this data like this. And then I'm going to make a post request. When I click on the send button, 
this will insert this data in the mongodb document so now i have two records let's suppose you want to get only this object as a response you have to get only this object as a response from the get request in that case you have to pass id in the url and make a get request so let's see how to do it